Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to upload the npm packages to Nexus registry and how to download the packages from Nexus registry and also we will see how to solve various issues related to authentication and authorization during this process. We already have seen how to create the npm registries and also we have seen how to download the packages from Nexus registry in the previous videos. If you want to know about them, please go through the links in the description section. In this video, we will discuss about both upload as well as download the packages to or from Nexus using the same user. Let us start. For this demo, let us take an example. Here I have the example directory. Let us initialize npm here. npm is initialized here. Now this is a npm project containing example package.json file. If this project depends on any other dependencies, then we need to install those dependencies. So we need to download those dependencies from Nexus. So for that we have already created the repositories earlier and also we have seen how to download the dependencies from Nexus group repository. So now let us set the registry at the project level to point to the group repository inside Nexus. So for that I am using npm config command. So this is the group repository. So let me copy this URL and this registry should point to the URL of the group repository. And we are setting at the project level. Here we need to specify an option called l. So we need to mention project here. So if we set the configuration at the project level, a dot npm rc file will be created inside the same directory. So we can verify that. So in the dot npm rc file we can see registry is pointing to our npm group repository inside Nexus. Before uploading the packages to Nexus registry, let us try to download the example package. Here I will try to download express package for this project. For that let us use npm install command. So now it is providing an error code 401 because we did not set up any authentication for this. So we need to provide our username and password. Since we are trying to download as well as upload here, let us try to create a user in Nexus which have both the permissions. So for this let me create a new role. The role type is Nexus role. So here I am providing npm read write role. for both read and write permissions. So here we need to filter the npm privileges. So let us filter with npm. So now it will provide all the privileges for the npm repositories whatever we have created. So this permission will provide the read permission for the npm group repository. So let us select this and also let us provide the browse permission. So now let us save it. So we have created a read write role here but we have not provided the write permission yet. So let us create a new user and assign this role. So I am giving as npm deploy user. We can fill the other details as well. And we need to select the status here. So it should be active. So here let us select read write role. So let us create the local user. So before installing the packages let us do npm login now. The registry should be the group registry. So we need to provide the credentials now. So once we provide the credentials, an entry will be posted inside the user home directory dot npmrc file. We can verify that. So here we can see that an entry is added corresponding to the latest credentials whatever we have added. So if you want to put these credentials inside the project npmrc file, we can directly copy this entry to the project.npmrc file as well. But here I am not doing that. So I am using the default user npmrc file with these credentials. So once we have this entry, now we can download the packages from the group repository. So let us try to install express again. This time we can see that the packages are installed. We can verify that. Here we can see that a node modules directory is created. 
Inside this we can see the express package as well as all the dependencies of express as well. Now we have seen how to download the packages from the group repository. If we want to upload the packages, we have to choose the hosted repository which is a part of group repository so that the users can download the uploaded packages as well from the group repository. Now let us try to upload the project package to the hosted repository. So for this we need to select the hosted repository. So we have to use this URL now. So for uploading the artifacts, we need to use npm publish command. So for this command we have to mention the registry. The registry can be mentioned in two ways, either via command line or in the package.json file itself. Let us try to do both. So let us start with command line. Here it is providing npm authorization error because we have not used the credentials corresponding to this repository. So now let us go back to the nexus and let us provide the right permissions for npm deploy user whatever we have created. So for that we need to choose the role. So for this read write role let us assign the right permissions as well. So here let us filter with npm. So let us choose this privilege and let us save the role. So now this role has the right permission for the hosted repository as well. So now the user has the permission but we need to log in with this registry now. So for that let us use npm login command again. So here we have provided the hosted repository. So I am providing the credentials now. So the user is logged in. Let us verify the .npmrc file again. So here we can see there is one more entry corresponding to hosted repository for authentication. So now we can publish the package to hosted repository. Here we have got one more error which is unable to authenticate need basic realm. So for this actually we need to go to nexus in nexus realms a realm corresponding to npm needs to be selected. So for that let us select this one and save it. So now let us retry. Here we are getting 403 error that means our user does not have permissions. Maybe we have entered wrong permissions for the role. Let us recheck the role. Here we have added the repository add permission but we should add repository edit permissions. Yeah, this is the correct permission we need to add. Let me add this permission and we can delete this permission. Let us save the role again and let me re-enter the publish command. So now we can see that a package is successfully published to the npm hosted repository. Now let us check the second way by mentioning the registry in the package.json file itself. Here we need to add a new section with publish config. Inside this we need to mention the registry. This should point to the hosted repository. Let us save the configuration. The configuration is saved. Let us execute the publish command without registering the command line. This time we are getting an error with error code 400. So here it is saying repository does not allow updating assets. So this means by default the nexus repositories will not allow the redeployment of the artifact with the same version. Here by default this is disable redeploy. We can change this if you want. Here I am setting allow redeploy but if you don't want to redeploy the same version you can redeploy with different version as well. So as of now I am selecting allow redeploy here and save the configuration. Let us retry here. Now the package is successfully published to the npm registry. Till now we have uploaded the package without any scope. We can follow the same the projects including the npm scopes as well. For that let me create a new example. Here I am initializing with the scope. I am providing as my org. Now the project is initialized with a scope my org. We can verify the package.json. Since the credentials are already saved now in the user.npmrc file, we can directly download and upload. Let us try to download the package now. The download is successful. We can try to upload the package as well. Here I am entering with registry from the command line. So here the package is uploaded with the npm scope as well. 
we can verify the same from ui as well here we can see that both the packages are installed this is the package without any scope and this is the package with my org as the scope so in this video we have seen how to download an npm package from nexus registry and how to upload an npm package to nexus registry using both scoped as well as unscoped packages and also we have seen how to solve multiple issues which occurred during authentication and authorization process i hope you like this video thanks a lot for watching